Monique, thank you so much for coming up and sharing your incredible testimony. Tell us your testimony. Uh, what happened? What was your breakthrough? Well, Kelly's a little hard to follow. I was actually invited by her. I started coming to Hungry Generation um, a couple of times, and I was, I'm still a financial advisor, but the position that I started in, you go door to door to get your sales and get people in the door, and I'm good at sales, but having the door slammed in your face when you're going and trying to get business is a little tough for me, so... I wasn't doing very well and underperforming, and I came here a couple of Sundays ago for the sacrificial offering, and I wasn't going to give it first. I hate to say it, but, you know, the word, the Holy Spirit did touch me, and towards the end when he started passing the basket around, something said, reach in your wallet, get that check. You don't have cash on you. Just write that check. Two days later, I got a call from my job, and mind you, beforehand, I had applied for a position that I didn't qualify for. I was underperforming. I wasn't making the numbers to transfer. I wasn't at the position long enough to transfer. And there was a lot of candidates that, you know, had the qualifications that I didn't have. Two days later, after that sacrificial offering, they told me the job was mine. I work from home now, and it's awesome. And when I was talking to her, I I wanted her to say that she wasn't qualified, that she literally met none of the qualifications because some people always like to say, well, that is a coincidence. With God, that is not a coincidence. That is supernatural favor right there. Amen? Give God just some... A hand of applause. That is God's glory right there. Monique, that is incredible. What would be your word of advice? I mean, you, you came here to service and, you know, you had that prompting from Holy Spirit to write that check. What would be your word of advice for those uh, that are wanting to tithe or give a sacrificial offering but are hesitant? They don't, you know, they're skeptical of it or they're like, you know what, I, that's not for me. What would be your word of advice? I say if you feel it tugging on you, if you feel something inside of you to give, don't ignore it. Just don't ignore it. Yeah. That's good. Come on. Give her another hand of applause. Thank you so much, Monique. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.